Welcome to our show, our dear viewers. Today at Diet Myths, we're going to be talking about a very popular diet and a diet that we've all been wanting to achieve, and that is the flat belly diet. So this diet promises you that you can have fat and you can have as much fat as you want and still have a fat-free flat belly. And if you think about it, this is probably all of our dreams. We all want to have a flat belly and we all want, you know, to, re to eat all the amounts of fat we want. So do you really think it's true and do you really think it's possible? Well, today we're going to discuss a lot of things about this diet and you'll see that the types of fat that this diet focuses on are a lot of healthy fats. So yes, it could be true if you do adhere to it and if you do do it properly. But if you let things get out of hand, um, like other popular diets like the Atkins diet and the Paleo diet, where they focus on consuming any amount of fat from any source of fat, then you might not be losing all the weight you want. Like I've said previously, whenever you choose a diet, you need to make sure that it's a sustainable diet. It's a diet that you can follow for a lifetime. Any diet that you should only be following for a short amount of time is not a diet that will help you lose weight. And it's a diet that will probably um, help you regain all the weight you've lost, which is quite not something we really want. So I want you guys to focus on um, incorporating healthy things in your lifestyle and the right amount of food. And with this diet, it really does give you a nice indication on the different types of fats that are out there and the different types of fats that you should be consuming. So yes, it is somewhat true. Yes, you could be getting a flat belly, but there's more to it than just consuming fatty foods and everything you want and getting a flat belly. Nothing comes easy in life and neither will your flat belly. I want you guys to stay tuned because we're going to focus and continue talking about this diet, what this diet consists of, and why this diet could be a successful one if you adhere to it.
Welcome back, our dear viewers. So you might be questioning yourself and thinking, what makes this flat belly diet so special? And why is this flat belly diet very highly regarded? I um, mean, a lot of play, like a lot of Hollywood stars and superstars out there. So one thing is this flat belly diet could actually help you lose weight if you do it correctly. So if you're actually adhering to this diet completely and using a lot of, you know, your common sense with healthy food and whether or not this food will help you um, feel full. So like I said, this diet, you know, promises you an abundant amount of fat and still be fat free around your belly area. And also this diet promises you a weight loss of around seven kilos or actually more, maybe 15 within a Month, which is quite a large number because here at the Sman Diabetes Institute our recommendation is usually around half a kilo per week which is the average healthy amount that every healthy um, adult should be losing. So now let's take a closer look at what the components of this diet are and if they really um, could fit into your lifestyle. So one of the main components of this diet is to have 400 calories per meal which is completely doable, a bit less than the average. You know, most of the average recommendations are around 500 calories per meal. This one is less. So when you have 400 calories um, in three meals and then distribute them in snacks or have, let's say, four meals, you'll be consuming an average of 1,600 calories a day, which is most probably on the lower end. Because, you know, when I sit down and I analyze the diets of many of the patients that come to me, we realize that most of them consume over 2,500 diets, uh, 500 calories, and that's for women, while the men consume way over 3,000 calories per day. A lot of people that are consuming a lot of fast foods um, and fast food items from restaurants, they'd be consuming anywhere between five to 7,000 calories a day. And I know these numbers might be shocking to you, but you know, at an average fast food restaurant, a burger has around 600 calories. So that, you know, alone will over, um, you know, over qualify the amount of calories you should be consuming in this flat belly diet. And then, like I said, they do allow you to consume an abundant amount of fat. But the key is what kinds of fat are you allowed to consume and are all types of fat um, okay for you or allowed on this diet? I want you guys to stay tuned because we're going to continue talking about it. We're going to focus on the types of fat that you can eat on this diet and then maybe we can do some tweaking to help you get on this diet and actually lose some weight. back our dear viewers so let's you know take a closer look at this diet and do some modifications because all these diets out there are actually not that bad unless you know like you know how to modify them correctly and make them more sustainable or more applicable to your life so like I said this diet does promise you an abundant amount of fats and you will not have fat in your belly but what fats are they focusing on they're mostly focusing on the monounsaturated fats. So the fats that come from things like olive oil, things from like nuts and seeds and flax seeds, you know, and chia seeds. So the healthy fats, the fats that, that do promote, you know, your heart health and your overall well-being. So these are definitely fats that I do want you to consider having um, in your diet. But like I've said previously and many times, these fats contain a large amount of calories. So you're looking at around 117 or 120 calories per tablespoon, which is quite high. And if you wanna follow this diet and you know stick to around 400 calories per meal, you can't really afford to lose a hundred of them to a tablespoon of fat that really doesn't do much when you consider the amount of fat you need for cooking and the amount of fat you need for salad dressing and other ways to flavor or enhance your foods. 
So that's one of the biggest downfalls is that the amount of calories um, and the promise that you can have a large amount of fat doesn't really go hand in hand or it doesn't really make sense. Now another thing that they want you to do is have many um, amounts of water and not any water. They have this mix that they've called sassy water, which contains um, a decent amount of ginger root, mint leaves, lemon, and cucumber. So more like the spa waters we see um, around. And this is an excellent way to stay hydrated and to flavor your water with very minimal amount of calories. So I do like that aspect of that diet. And I don't mind that many of my patients consume waters that are infused with natural flavors to, you know, make them more hydrated and make them want to have more water during the day. And of course, anytime you increase your water consumption, you're automatically increasing your chances of losing weight because with weight loss, hydration is key. So I, I hope you got a clearer vision of this flat belly diet and you see where the downfalls are. In every diet, you know, there are pros and there are cons. So the pros with this one is that the calories are limited, you know, and the amounts of fats chosen in this diet are smart ones or good ones for you, unlike paleo or Atkins diet when you don't really take care. But the downfall is, is that these fats do contain a lot of calories in them. So if you do focus on the fats, you're gonna end up missing on calories from other food sources. My, you know, advice to you is whenever you want to restrict calories, focus on food items like vegetables. They really contain very little amount of calories. Things like lettuce and cucumber um, and other greens like celery, for example, could keep you feeling full, are very high in fiber and have very little amount of calories. And whatever gets you drinking water, I am fine with it, as long as it's a very low calorie water mix. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode on the flat belly diet and we hope to see you all next time. <music>